quiet for one second. Can you hear this? Yeah? Okay. So, before we get to the man of the hour, let's introduce ourselves. My name is Ari, and I'm PR and marketing here at Spike Chainsaw. And I'm Alex, I'm the localization supervisor as well as the lead editor. Alex is a man, he's a boy. No boy. Great boy. So, this is our very first anime expo. Can you believe that? Yeah, yeah I think you can from what's happening. Give us a break. We love you. Thank you. So, for those of you who don't really quite know what Spike Chunzoth is doing over here in the West, we wanted to give you a quick recap on all of our titles. Starting with a trailer for Pixel Drug Monsters 2. And you'll have to be quiet to listen to these trailers, please.
New Japan Pro Wrestling collaboration featuring wrestlers like Kenny Omega and Kosa Ibushi, so you can play as the Golden Lovers. And we do have a bonus New Japan Pro Wrestling Almanac that comes out with every first print copy, so make sure to get that pre order in today. Next, we have a brand new trailer. Dim the lights. Uh, well, just no one in this room, right? 
let's get a little introduction from uh, each question box. Oh, and we also have translator Dave, Dave here. Uh, I am uh, Kotaro Uchikoshi. Uh, I am director of this uh, pro project. And, 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 uh, <laughs> <laughs> you <ask> it, <laughs> Hi guys, uh, my name is Dave Breaker. I'm the manager of our global publishing department over in our Japan home office. And what that means is if Uchikoshi loses his laptop on the airplane, <laughs> or drops his wallet in Uber, I'm the guy that gets called first. So. Dave has his own hashtag, hashtag Dave. Please feel free to use it. Uh, uh, I'm sorry for speaking Japanese. Uh, so I'm going to be doing the rest of the presentation in Japanese. Please excuse me. So um, I'm sure many of you remember uh, uh, last year at GDC, I announced I'd be working on a new game. Uh, the working title was Project Sync, and since then we've come up with the official project name, which I'd like to announce today. <laughs> But before that, I'd like to jump right into it and show you the new trailer. So I know a lot of people have been buzzing on the internet about Project Sync, but just to clear the air, the new name, the new official name for the project is uh, I, the Somium Files, uh, not AI, but I'll get a bit on uh, what these different uh, keywords mean later in the presentation. で、え、舞台東京で、え、時代はま、現代なんですけど、ちょっとテクノロジーが発達した現代で、え、そこで、えっと、左目を振り抜かれた死体が、え、発見されます。で、その事件を、え、一人の刑事が追っていく、え、連
and you play as a detective on the trail of a serial killer and through the streets of uh, modern day Tokyo. Um, it's an adventure game, uh, you know, a bit visual novel as you come to expect from me. <laughs> でまず、えー、主人公なんですけれども、えー、と伊達という刑事が、えー、主人公になっていまして、えー、プ,レイはプレイヤーはその伊達となって、えー、とさっき言った連続殺人の、えー、謎を追いかけていくことになりますで、えーまあ、一つの特徴として目の色が違うと思うんですけど、えー、彼は左目に、えー、AI が搭載された美顔をはめていて、えー、その AI の機能を使っていろいろ。Uh, so, this is our main character,、uh, Kaname Date. He is a detective on the case of the strange、uh, serial killings that we mentioned earlier.、Uh, if you notice from the character design, his two eyes are different colors.、Uh, that's because his left eye is actually an artificial eye,、um, it has an、uh, AI unit within it, and he uses the、uh, advanced technology in his AI eyeball to、uh, solve the crime. でえーまあ、物語の特徴の方なんですが、えーとまあ、物語というかゲーム全体の特徴なんですけど、えー、と伊達という、まあ、主人公が容疑者だったり重要参考人だったりする人たちの頭の中に入って夢の中に入り込んでいろんな手がかりを操作していく、えー、見つけ出していくというのが、えー、一つのゲームとしての核、まあの,の部分になっているので。なっていますでそこのその夢のことを、えっと、ラテン語でソムニウムというんですけどなのでこのゲームでは、えっと、夢のことをソムニウムと言っています。Uh, so one of the key features of the game is that、uh, as Dante is investigating the case, if he finds a key witness or a suspect,、um, you know, people don't always give up information freely. So what you can do is go in,、uh, Dante has the ability to go into their Uh, memories and extract information there. And these memories are kind of like dreamscapes. And、uh, the Latin word for dream is somnium, hence the somnium files. And within the game world, we call these、uh, like dreamscapes that you go into、uh, somnium. Then, one more time, the title of the logo is the title of the logo. So,、uh, yep, to、so、kind of、uh, break it all, bring it all together and explain again what the title means. The first one is the AI, the artificial intelligence. The first one is the AI, the artificial intelligence. The first one is the AI, the artificial intelligence. The first one is the AI, the artificial intelligence. The first one is the AI, the artificial intelligence. The first one is the AI, the artificial intelligence. So, obviously, the title can be read like AI is an artificial intelligence.、Uh, that's a reference to the、uh, AI unit in Dante's、uh, left eye that he uses to、uh, gather clues and investigate. Then, one of the things is that I know the same thing as 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 I know the same thing. Right, so, the, the letters for the game are AI, but it's actually pronounced I,、uh, as in like eyeball.、Uh, you know, eyes are one of the main themes of the game between the serial killings and also、uh, Date's eye and other things that will be made clear as time goes on. で最後なんですけど、えー、とこれはちょっと日本語になってしまうんですが、えー、と愛っていう発音が日本語だと愛あのラブと同じ意味になるんですけどそういう意味で、えー、とこの作品の物語のテーマとして愛を、えー、いろんな愛を描いている物語になっているのでそのこ,のこの3つの意味を込めて、えー、AI とかいって愛という、えー、作品のタイトルにします。And also in Japanese, the word ai means love. So it's kind of a, a nice pun play on words there.、Um, in terms of how it plays into the story,、um, love is one of the main themes of the game, and we will explore different types and、uh, expressions of love throughout the story. And, 
夢の中に入って操作をするということでそのラテン語のソムニエムというのを使って、えー、ソムニエムファイルズという、ね、サブタイトルを作っていきます。And in terms of the subtitle of the Somnium Files, you know, like we said earlier,、uh, Somnium is Latin for dream. And since you travel into people's、uh, memories and dreams to help solve the case,、uh, that's where that comes from. The character design is the Pozaki Yusuke, who is a very famous designer. えー、キャラザさんに,おに、えー、お願いしています、えー、と彼はどういう人かっていうと,、えー、とノーマヒーローズであったり、えー、任天堂のファイアーエンブレムであったり、えー、最近のポケモン GO の、えー、と人間の方のデザインキャラクターデザインであったりあと映画でいうとアニメ版のゴジラだったりもう本当にいろいろな有名なタイトルで分けているすごいあの優れたクリエイターなんですけど、えー、彼がキャラクターデザインを担当してUh, so, the character designs are being handled by uh, Yusuke uh, Kozaki. He's a very talented illustrator that I'm、uh, honored to be able to work with.、Um, you might know him from his work on No More Heroes or the Fire Emblem series.、Uh, he also did the like, trainer designs of Pokemon Go. And most recently, he did the uh, uh, characters for the anime version of Godzilla. So, we're very happy to have him on board. The, uh, well, I'm not sure. 今回は、えー、と刑事がもう操作するっていう、えー、とゲームなのでいろんな登場人物が、えー、登場するんですが、えー、登場しますで、まあ、もちろんそれらの全員はほとんど全員、えー、と小崎さんにキャリアをしていただいたんですが、えー、今日は、えー、と今回こ,んこれだけ多くの皆さんにお集まりいただいたので特別にもう一人だけキャラクターを、えー、紹介させていただこうと思います。And、uh, since this is a, a, a detective game,、uh, you know, there's going to be a wide cast of characters、uh, involved in the mystery. And originally we had only planned to introduce the main character, but we thought this was a wonderful opportunity. And since we have so many of you guys、uh, that came out to see us today, we'd like to introduce、uh, another one of the main characters. <laughs> まあ、日本語ではイリスと呼んでるんですが、イリスという、えー、女の子があります。で彼女の設定は、えー、18歳の女子高生でネットアイドルをしていまして、アメリカではあんまりなじみないかもしれないですが、けどネットアイドルというのは、えー、日本でいうところの歌ってみたとか、踊ってみたとか、あとゲーム実況とかをやっている子で,で,、えー、です。<laughs> <laughs> All right, so、uh, this is Iris.、Uh, she's an 18 year old high school student.、Uh, within the confines of the story, she's like, essentially like a YouTuber.、Uh, <laughs> she makes her own like, viral videos where she records herself dancing and singing and things like that. And she also does her own series of butts plays. <laughs> <laughs> まあ、いろいろ彼女にも、まあ、あのバックグラウンドがあるんですが、まあ、その話は、えー、とおいおい、えー、いろんな場で発表させていただくことにして、えー、今日は、えー、実は彼女からビデオメッセージをもらっているのでそれを、えー、ご覧いただきたいなと思います。Uh, so this kind of a, like, bright, colorful character might seem a bit out of place in a、uh, grim detective story, but we will go into more detail about her involvement、uh, later on.、Uh, Uh, in the future.、Uh, but for today, we do have a special video message from her so you guys can meet her face to face.
あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ